Good morning, Junior 5. Today, we are going to talk about circulatory system. Circulatory system consists of heart pumps blood inside blood vessels. Would you please repeat after me? Heart pumps blood inside blood vessels, as you see. Okay, let's talk about heart, okay? What about your heart? Your heart is a hollow muscular organ. Pumps blood to all body cells at the size of your fist. And your heart consists of two sides, four chambers. Two sides, four chambers. And what is between the two sides of the heart? There is a wall. Why there is a wall between the two sides? So this will be question give reason. What well, the meaning of give reason? Why? Why there is a wall between the two sides? To prevent mixing blood. And between upper chambers and lower chambers, there is a valve. There is a valve. Why there is a valve between lower chambers and upper chambers? To prevent the blood returning back and the flow in one direction. Prevent the blood returning back and the flow in one direction. Please concentrate about these two give reason questions. And what is number two? Blood vessels. What is your blood vessels? As you see here, it's like the tube, pipe, okay? How many types of blood vessels? Three. Arteries, veins, blood capillaries. Do you think that there is any difference between arteries, veins, blood capillaries? Sure. Number one, arteries. What are arteries? As you see here, blood vessels that carry red blood. What is red blood? It's the oxygenated blood, the blood that carry oxygen gas. All arteries carry red blood? No. There is one artery carry red blood. But why Miss Nada we called it artery and it doesn't carry red blood like the other arteries? I am going to tell you now. But first let's talk about veins. What about veins? Veins are tubes, blood vessels that carry deoxygenated blood. Except also one vein. What is the name of this vein and what is the name of this artery that they are different than the other blood vessels? The name is pulmonary. Pulmonary. So when you hear the word pulmonary, remember that it's something different. All arteries carry red blood except pulmonary artery. All veins carry blue blood except pulmonary vein. But why we called why we didn't call this artery and why we didn't call this vein? Because this carry red blood and this carry blue blood. Because all arteries carry blood from heart. All arteries carry blood from heart. And remember, as we said before in the class, arteries start by A letter. A it's like your hand from heart so even it's carrying blue blood but it carries blood from heart because of that we call it pulmonary artery about veins starts with letter v v it means ha huh, v huh, how to make letter v by your hand like this so to heart so all veins carry blood to heart even the pulmonary vein, even the pulmonary vein. Because of that, all of them are veins and all of them are arteries. What about blood capillaries? It's a type also from blood vessels that connect between artery and vein. And as you see in the picture, there is difference in the size of each one of the vessel. This one, its name is what? Excellent, artery, because it carry my red blood, oxygenated blood. And this is, is what? Vein. It carries, huh? 
blue blood, deoxygenated blood, okay? But this blood capillaries connect between them. As you see here, it's very, very thin. Why it's very thin? To allow exchange of gases. So, blood capillaries connect between end of the artery and beginning on the vein. Why? Because it do what? Exchange of gases. So, artery, carry oxygen gas, carry it, carry it, carry it. Huh? Give it here to the vein. So, this is end of the artery. So, change the gases. So, now it's carry carbon dioxide gas. Beginning with the vein and complete to all your body. So, what is blood capillaries? Type of blood vessel that connect between artery and vein and it has very thin wall. Why? Give reason to allow exchange of gas. And it's what end of artery and beginning of the vein. So, circulatory system consists of hard pumpous blood inside blood vessels. What is the component that we didn't talk about? Blood. What is your blood? I know that all of you know your blood and maybe you see it before when you get hurt, right? But what is your blood? You think that it's one component red, like the red color that you color by it? Sure, no. Your blood, if we divide it, we found that your blood consists of four components. What are the four components of the blood? Repeat after me. Why blood cells? And you'll make your hand like this and I will tell you now why. Why blood cells? Huh? Why blood cells? Number two, red blood cells. Red blood cells. Number three, blood platelets. Blood platelets. Number four, plasma. Now, let's talk about each component of the blood. Why blood cells? Did you remember how we make our hands? We make our hands like this. Why? Because why blood cells defense on your body against microbes. Why blood cells defense on your body against microbes. How is Nada? Do you, know, uh, did you remember any situation when you was sick and your mother gave you antibiotic at the medicine? So why you take this medicine? To make your white blood cells like a monster. Eat the microbe. So your white blood cells attack and kill microbes. Defense on your body against microbes. Red blood cells. Red blood cells is shaped as you see here, okay? And it has no nucleus. It's a cell but has no nucleus. It, it's only its job to carry gases. So, Miss Nada, the blood carry gases. No, each component in the blood has function to do it. Red blood cells carry gases. Red blood cells carry gases. What about blood platelets? Blood platelets, as you see here, okay, it's doing what? Like this yellow circus. I'm sure it's not circus like this, but we make it for you like this to understand. Blood platelets do what? When you get hurt, when you bleed, okay? How your body stop bleeding? By itself? Yes, by itself. How? By blood platelets. When you get hurt, okay? How the wounds healing? By blood platelets. How? By forming blood clot. Blood clot, okay? So let's repeat again. Why blood cells defense on your body against microbes? Red blood cells carry gases. Blood platelets huh, do what? Healing the wound, forming blood clot to stop bleeding. What is number four? Plasma. What is plasma? It's a yellow watery fluid that the all components exist in it. Okay? Like the fruit salad. When you make the fruit salad, you cut piece of the fruit and put some juice on it to flow inside it. It's all like this, the plasma. So plasma, yellow watery fluid that all the components exist in. So let's revise together. How many components of the blood? Four. Blood, red blood cells carry 
against white blood cells, defense on your body against microbes. Blood platelets stop bleeding by forming blood clots. Plasma, it's yellow water fluid as you see here. Okay, so now this is the shape of the blood clot. I think that all of you see it before. When you get hurt in any part in your body, your body alone by the blood platelets forming blood clot. As you see here, your skin cut. And here, what happens? Healing the wound by blood platelets, as you see. So your blood is very, very important. And as we know all that the blood flow in all your body, in all your body, yes. Where is the blood? All over your body, inside blood vessels. So the blood also has amazing function that maybe no one talk about before or hear or think about before. What is the function of the blood? Huh? Keep the temperature of the body constant. What is the temperature of the normal body? 37. How it will be 37 all the time? By the blood. So generally the blood has amazing function and very important function. It's uh, keep the temperature of the body constant. As you see here, junior five, this is your heart. Look carefully how this heart is working, how your heart is working, pumping blood to all your body. So we have here valve between upper chamber and lower chamber. And here we have valve between upper chamber and lower chamber. What's the name of this chamber? It's excellent, left ventricle. And what's the name of this chamber? Left atrium, excellent. And what's the name of this chamber? Huh. Right ventricle. What's the name of this chamber? Right atrium. So what between the two, what is between the two chambers? Valve, open and close like this. Where is the biggest artery of your body? Do you remember its name? Excellent, aorta. Aorta, biggest artery in your body. Biggest artery in your body. It's connected with the left side. Why? Did you remember in the class? Left is red. Left is red. So sure it will connect it with aorta to pump red blood, oxygenated blood to all your body. But this side has deoxygenated blood that go to the huh, lungs to refresh it and back it again oxygenated. You got it? So what's the name of this artery? Artery from heart artery. But it's a curly blue. So its name is pulmonary artery. Excellent. So now would you please all think about how to keep your circulatory system healthy? Let's think together how to keep it healthy by eating healthy food, avoid smoking, Keep exercising and avoid any junk food that contains more fats. Fats will hurt your heart. Smoking will hurt your heart. So please keep your circulatory system healthy and your heart healthy. Thank you so much. Listen carefully and I'm going to send some videos also to help you. Do your homework and you will find the model answer on our school page. Thank you.